how to unlock this little door inside of the magma basin inside of pet catchers by rumble studios so sir loxley will tell you this wizard's riddle and the whole point of this is to find a key the first clue is the first away to under a cross in sand so what you're going to want to do so you're just going to want to head over to the beacon slash teleporter thingy and where we are heading, we are first heading towards Sunset Shores. Whenever you spawn inside of Sunset Shores, you're just going to want to go straight towards where the Kraken boss spawns and then hit a hard left. And then you're going to go ahead and find yourself an X marks the spot and you're going to read the clue. It's going to talk about a furnace burning bright and a pile of logs. So then you're going to head back to the teleporter, this time going to Auburn Woods. Then you're going to go ahead and see right over here to the left of the blacksmith, you're going to see this clue on the logs and it's going to talk about where champions stand tall, find me on the fountain's waterfall. Now you need to head back to Pet Park and whenever you spawn just immediately look up and read the clue on the mouth of the statue. When the Where the air is crisp, a clue lay on top of a roof colored green. You're just going to want to head on over to the Frosty Peaks. As soon as you spawn in Frosty Peaks, go ahead and just literally look over to the building right beside you and hop on top of the roof. And you're going to find another one. On a desert island where a pyramid resides, walk through it to find where the clue hides. Go ahead and use the beacon again and head on over to Dusty Dunes. As soon as you spawn in, what you're going to need to look for is actually going to have to go a little bit of distance. But you're just going to head over to the fishing spot over here in like the corner of the map over by the bones and you're going to want to go in inside this pyramid and you will see an e pop up to read the clue and it'll say in the land of purple water at the end of the cave where crystal meets sky this one should be relatively easy you're gonna to have to head back to the teleporter yet again now you head on over to the gloomy grotto and you're just going to want to go into the secret waterfall and just not fail your parkour because you will die from poisonous water and then literally right beside these shrines you will have yet another clue in the meadows by the capybara crew in the skate park you'll find your next clue heading back on over to the teleporter this time we're gonna head on over to the the mellow meadows head on over to our buddy phony hawk and the capybaras right over here doing these cool skateboard tricks and then read the clue where the ground is hot, the castle stands tall, climb the spire and find the key once of all. So all you need is to head on back over to the magma basin for our final thing. So whenever you spawn in, instead of going over here to the summit, you're going to go to the shrines and then you're going to have to do another little parkour right over here. And as soon as you do that, you will be awaited by a ladder, which I wonder if I can even do with the hoverboard on. Climb up this little ladder and you will then see yourself a key. Unfortunately, you will have to go all the way back around. So you'll just have to do the parkour yet again. And you just head on over to the summit back where the gate is. And then you can literally just talk to whatever his name is, Sir Loxley. Oh, I got it. Um, and by the way, you just did all that for nothing. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah. You will be able to unlock the gate after this, and if you guys want to see more content on this game, because I love Rumble Studios, I've played a lot of their games in the past, that is the end of this, and if you guys want to see more, like, subscribe, tell me what else you need, and yeah, it is not a secret, I guess. Hmm, probably a little bit suspicious. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.